this right here is my first ever doc. We got great producers, you know, great filmmakers, and great talent. This is Dino, David Dino Wells, the Lethal Warrior. And this film will be out November 24th, um, documentary. And it's about a fighter who fought 20 years ago. And um, he had a great, he had, he had a nice record, a lot of wins. And, and then he, um, you know, kind of spiraled downwards. Okay, how many wins did he have? I think he had about 50 or something like that. Oh, a lot, lot of wins. A lot of wins. Yeah, a lot of wins. A lot of what, what, uh, what weight category was he in? Uh, I forget the actual weight division. Okay. But. And then what happened? Drugs? Uh, and then, uh, you know, just um, depression and different things like that. And, and then he wanted to get back and he wanted to get back and fight him. And in the film, you see the point where he's trying to get back and fight him. Very heavy. You know, um, not really seeing his child much. All that's in the film in New Orleans. Um, a lot of trials and tribulations. And you get a chance to see somebody who's down and out, trying to fight their way back, giving up, you know, tears, crying with his child, you know, then you get a chance to see him, you know, uh, needing money for rent, and all this is like real. You know, um, uh, not having a place to train, train is giving up on him, you know. And he's trying to go pro again. Trying to go pro again, trying to get his fight again. At what age? At 40. Oof. Maybe a little older. I mean, you know, you got the Bernard Hopkins of the world. Right. But you don't have that many Bernard Hopkins right. out there. I mean, he was very out of shape. I don't know, you know, so what, what at made, the time. What made you decide to, to focus on this guy and to do a film on this guy? I think he's very inspiring. I think everybody should wear these shirts, you know. Um, I think he's very inspiring because you get a chance to see his life, you know. And some people get a chance, they, they read the media and they say, okay, this boxer was great. He, he's depressed. And yeah, he didn't make it. But you get a chance to actually see a real fighter going through, you know, what these fighters go through all the time. You know, no insurance. You know, uh, when he finally got in shape and he was about to get his first fight, he couldn't pay his doctor bill. Hmm. You know, nobody paid it for him. The filmmakers didn't pay it for him. Nobody paid it for him. And it was a struggle because it's what he really wants. You know, the filmmakers, you know, we're just trying to get a good story out, right? But he's actually going through this. Yeah. You know, and this is probably the best doc that I've seen after it was all edited and done. Probably the best doc that I've seen. And I'm looking forward to November 24th. Right. That's what it is. And you can go to metaworldpeace.com. You know, um, it'll be on Vimeo and then it'll be on iTunes. It'll be available everywhere. Netflix? Hopefully. Not Netflix. <laughs> Not on Netflix? But definitely iTunes and uh, Vimeo. And uh, you, can, you can see the trailer, you know, on metaworldpeace.com. Yep, or on VladTV.com. VladTV, baby, you already know. <laughs> All right. Nowadays, they want me to be offbeat again. They like, oh, so can you be old silk, you know what I'm saying? But I think I have my own style, which I don't think is right or wrong. So, and, I, and if you go back and listen, like, I, look, I had a chance to listen to my own music. I'm like, wow, I was pretty good. But he gonna be back soon, you know what I mean? My, that's my brother, he just, you know what I'm saying, going going through it, so, you know what I mean? So we're we gonna be back strong, we're gonna be back three strong right now, but we keeping it, we keeping it going. <laughs>